Well, it's just sort of getting on to dark, so I hope this video footage turns out okay. And you're helping me with it, aren't you? <laughs> you're helping me with it. Okay. Um, so I've started letting the geese back in at night and we'll let them out in the morning because what will happen is, sorry, I just thought I had something like a leech on my foot. Um, because they're going to be getting ready to start laying eggs as we come into winter. They, Blair laid in August. Good boy, Slinky. Come on, come away. Good boy. Good boy, Slinky. Slinky. Good boy, away. Uh, 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 uh. Slinky. Slinky, come here. Hang on a minute. Slinky. Slinky, come here. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm just making it easy. He's normally good with them, but I didn't want him to think he had the wrong cue to stay there because I think that's what he interpreted my good boy as. So the grass is really not done well here. Probably too much traffic. It looks like it's all died. You can still see it, but it's um, not died. I mean, we're making the yard bigger, but I think this, this end of it will just still be copying it. I'm looking at other solutions. So uh, they're coming back in and they're building another coop for the guinea fowl and the geese. Well, two separate coops. The geese can go in their old coop, but a, a, a coop for the guinea fowl. So they'll, I'm going to lock them up for part way through winter so they're used to it before we come into spring and they're eating. They've got another bit of food, some containers of food behind me. I want to do something about this. Um, I'm actually thinking, I mean, it's very green and I didn't empty it, obviously, because I'm going to see if I can plant some lilies in it to filter it. Uh, so I don't have to keep tipping out the water and wasting it to clean it out. It's got that besser block and a stick there to help stop them from drowning. I've removed any deep buckets because we had a bird drown and it's too easy for the sticks to come out. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> Upside down. I was, he's smiling at me. He loves his mum. And um, so very happy with the geese. Uh, I was not happy with them being outside overnight, though they're pretty on the ball. Um, but when they start nesting, definitely they'll be killed by foxes overnight, the girls. So they've got to start coming in now. And they, they're, they're trying to come back here every evening anyway. Aren't they beautiful? We've lost so many guinea fowl that I'm going to have to get them trained to being locked up. But we need a nice big enclosure for them. Much bigger and uh, that will work out well for them. So they'll just have to be, once they start laying, we can let them out in the uh, uh, after lunch, because they'll usually lay in the morning. So we've still got the five chocolates, and I think I've, I've counted nine lavender and nine this needs to be cleared out. We need to move those besser blocks and clear it so it can drain. And I'm going to revamp this one too. We've got another enclosure. All the hens have come off their nest. One just the last two left their eggs. We've got a lot of roosters, a lot, yeah, a lot of roosters at the moment. But these uh, five hens stay with Roger, their rooster. And um, I know, babies. I know. So beautiful. So beautiful. I know. You can come up. What's happened? Tell me about it. Yeah, come on. They're coming up to their other... See, there's more... Maybe there's more than nine of grey and nine lavender. And... Um, <clears throat> I'll fix up the, the sea bites. I'm, I'm going to be moving. Yeah, just it's all right. Stay here. It's okay. The dog's next to me. See, they've got, because we've got Niles with his cross beak, so he needs a deep dish. And I wanted to see if this is deep enough, and I think it is. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. You're a good boy. I am actually having trouble telling Fraser and Edwin apart. 
I know. Luckily, I can tell Blair and Constance apart, the girls. So we're going to be running some tip loads and getting rid of all the rubbish here. And we've got someone here that can help us in getting a lot of things done. Dogs are play fighting, playing rough. And so they're all getting ready for bed. And Roger's, uh, Frank, sorry. Frank's got a girl. He's got a little, a little pullet that, uh, well, you know, she's, she's grown now. I don't think she's laid eggs yet. She'll lay next season. But she, he's now looks after her and she stays with him. So that's really lovely. And I'm thinking he might even have two. And that's ideal. So this boy here doesn't have any. And he looks like Roger's son. The one that really looked like Frank um, was killed. So that's why I want to set it up now that we've learnt of the harrow, harrows of, what a beautiful bird, of goannas. I know. I know. What am I doing, darling? Because as it's getting darker, I know this isn't going to come out so well. And there's, that's Frank there. I'm going to fix this up because we're going to have a yard. We've got all the posts ready to go. We've got to increase the yard out the back and around the other side and then we're increasing Stella's yard. It just takes time. But uh, I think we'll be running, doing some tip loads to just clear all this muck out because um, some stuff that we've kept to use again is no good and there's just, just rubbish, as you can see. Stuff, uh, you know, nesting boxes that have fallen apart and they just all need to be tipped or have a, a pile burn. The timber can go into a pile burn. This is electric fencing we'll need to put somewhere. Just, just organise everything, storage, and just rearrange all this. Mm. So I've been very brave posting it while there's mess, but uh, it's just the reality of when you're trying to do things and build things. And I know. I get along well with my goose. We can, uh, my son and I can both um, hand feed them all. They like us because he looks after them. We take turns or we, we share. And um, he's usually here all the time. And I'm here by myself tonight. So I won't, I'll post this after. I don't post advertising on here by myself. Hi babies. Hi, my little guinea fowl. Because I found a clump of guinea fowl for the uh, feathers down at the bottom of the driveway, like on a grass mound, and I'm pretty sure the bird that got attacked w may not have survived it. But I'm just looking at that one, if it could have been that one. But they would be missing like a noticeable number of feathers, but that one seems to have funny feathers on his back. Because I was looking, going through it today, and I couldn't see any flesh or bones or anything. So it's possible that it escaped, and I, I reckon it would have probably been a fox. Even though they're all up here at night. See that little pullet there, black one, that's Frank's girl. And I think that's Frank's girl too, that little white one. So he's got a couple of girls, and because they're older roosters, Roger's, Roger's in charge, followed by Frank. They've now taken the girls under their wings, so the hens aren't being kind of like raped or excessively mated or whatever terminology you want to use because we've got so many pullets. I mean, yeah, roosters. Yeah, and Teddy's still being trained and so is Stella. Stella's definitely not bird friendly. And Teddy now, hello darling. That's Niles. I've got nice footage of you. Oh, oh, there was a bird. Did you see that? He looked up. There was a bird flying over. I know. You put your eye high up in the sky. And there's another little bear, cockerel over there. Well, he's a rooster now. He's young, though. Technically, he's still a cockerel, but he's pretty mature. Yeah, so I'm wondering if that brown one there was attacked. It could have been. And also, the geese can strip them of feathers like that, but the feather, if they get caught in something... I've seen them attack a bird and they just sort of keep gnawing at the feathers, but that feather pile down the front looked like the bird had been attacked and I thought it had been killed, but I'm now starting to think that the guinea fowl might have survived. Look at that little lavender one there. 
is so beautiful. And where are my keats? My keats look like they're in here. But they're not all in here. They've grown so big. Oh no! Yeah, I know. You can go in there tonight. I'm going to move all the nesting boxes. We're going to rearrange everything. And I've got I've got one new nesting box for you, which is a big plastic dog kennel. And I'll get a second one. I, I want to stop using that timber one in there. Because, I mean, that, that they might use it again, but I'll just have to really treat it for mites. I'm trying to get rid of all the timber. Because it's good. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah, that must be some of the Keats in there. Because I can see there's an older bird in there. Because these are my older birds. I think they're mixed up, actually. I'm looking at them. I know. I love these so much. Look, see, that's Niles with his crossbeak. And I've got some environmentally friendly rat bait that won't kill birds or, you know, uh, uh, you know, like an owl. If an owl eats a dead mouse or if um, a goanna or a dog eats a dead mouse or rat, they won't die. But I'm going to put them in um, these things because I just don't want the native, um, yeah, you know, bandicoots or whatever to, to get it. So if I put them in the places where I know the rats and the mice go. Hi. 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 You two are so beautiful. I know. I know. And look how beautiful he is. He's so dark. And at the moment, we've still got birds inside this um, cabin that we're going to turf out soon when we've got a place for them to go and clean all that out and start it again as a human cabin. Let's see, brights. There's, a, there's a, a male rooster in there with a bright red comb and he's going to come out of there when he's big and for just free range. And the others can all breed. They're all just beautiful. Three girls, There's three girls and three boys, but the male can't breed. But I'll give them a bigger enclosure. Um, yeah, they'll have a bigger place for next. You know, we'll get it all sorted out. It, it just last breeding season was really disrupted by losing our dog, and then having because we didn't have a goanna proof or fox proof uh, enclosures, they were just it was just terrible. So we've got the they, they don't come in now. We've got the maramas and. Um, slinky and we've slinky proofed the yard and slinky as in the dog not a not as in a he seems to be doing all right I think I'll get him a deeper dish because of his cross beak they they live on grass they eat a lot of grass but because of his cross beak he needs to be fed every day and and we're now almost in winter even though I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt um, that's why I thought I had a leech on my foot. It's wet. So I was filling up bowls and stuff. Oh no, look how cute you are. You're so cute. I just adore my birds. And I, I've been very lazy. I've been extremely busy. Um, I know, I know. I've been extremely busy with my work and my study. Um, studying a doctorate was his research doctorate and I work I know that's all right they're, they're just they're, they're telling the dogs off the dogs are behind me the dogs aren't don't care about them I know sorry they've got a bit of wine but it's okay it's okay I know I know god I love them so much I know I know. And so I've had some time now to do some more videos. So rather than just rely on my camera footage from my security cameras and my friends who have been following me say, well, where's, well, I've only seen these shorts. And it's like, I know, I'm slack. And I've been changing where I put the cameras and setting them up to get different footage. I do like seeing them unobserved and I like to have cameras, particularly around the back here because this is where foxes and goannas have come in and killed them. I know. Oh, I know. They don't like you. You know that. 
But you're a good boy. He's he lets me know when there's a goanna, don't you? And Henry used to let me know when there was foxes. I don't know. You're my good boy, aren't you? You're my good boy. Yeah, yeah. Mommy loves you. God, I love animals so much. Okay, I'll get him away. Come on, come away. Come away. They don't want you here. Let's go. They almost need an enclosure within the whole yard that they can go in. and Well, they can come in here too, but the way I've got it set up now, it's not so friendly. This all needs to be cleaned out. I know. Uh, that was there to protect it from pooing down because when I had water bowls under there. But it's a very good place for you all. Look at you all. You've come in here. It's so nice and warm. And look at you. And you've lost some feathers too. You girls all need to go in there. I've got someone above me and I'll rip this off and we'll put tin. tin. This is like to the tarps have just weathered. They've survived a year and we need to put proper tin roofing but we'll probably take this enclosure down or maybe move it a bit or something it's a little bit wonky hey hey <laughs> my babies and um, throw away all the timber nesting boxes okay well you're a good girl letting me know slinky was there and you can all start to watch the beautification of our farm which we're going to do over winter and the, the guinea fowl live up here or in that in the um enclosure at night don't you you're very clever they never went to the trees they stay here which is probably good because there was a big owl in that big tree near us wasn't it and it killed one of you i know it was very sad it took one of you one night off Hi, my babies. Hi, my babies. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. It's been so hard to see so many of them lost. And a lot of the girls have gone, I think, when they've, I think they've, they've gone and maybe sat on nests or something that I couldn't find and been taken. But we will try. I was talking to somebody about guinea fowl and because they survive lions and hyenas and African dogs and all sorts of things, you know, cheetahs. Not that they'd be their main thing, main source of food, but they, they live in a very hostile environment naturally. And one of an experienced breeder thinks that since their domestication, some bit of their edge is gone. They're still pretty good, but they're not as crafty as, not quite as wild you know yeah you can come down yeah we'll sort all this out yeah we'll sort all this out good boy come here good boy good boy I praised him for running away and they're going to teach Teddy how to behave with birds aren't they are they going to teach Mr Ted Coming down for a drink. No, 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 in your crate, go on, in your kennel, see, oh, I don't mind it, yeah, okay, okay, good boy, good boy, good boy, yeah, I popped some um, food in there. So you can see all the grass has just died. It's, I think it might even grow back if um, it's just everywhere. I just think it's just the sheer wear on it's been too much. So I don't, even know what, I don't know what to do. We're going to put a path in here where there's grass and edge it and gravel. And... You're going to need more water in there, aren't you? Yes, you all are. That's got rocks in it. And it can't be filled all the way up to stop baby birds drowning in it. They're telling the dogs off. Dogs are playing. And that was Teddy's created more rubbish. We're trying to... Oh, there's Slinky's collar. And there's Stella. Looking. Look how grassy, much grass she's got. So these yards will extend further down and up the back. And they'll just keep going. 
It's just that we have to be very careful. This we'll have one maniac probably that Cynthia was saying. Uh, because he's an escape artist and we just need to be very, very, very firm with him. Yeah. He's my best boy. Oh, Paul Bundy. Can you see the moon? It's getting cold. I don't, I don't really feel cold yet, but... It's, it feels really nice, but I know I'll, it'll suddenly drop. Ah, look at this. Look. Oh, this is my boy. I know I, know I have good colours with him. He's the one that was attacked by a fox, and the, the, his back end looked raw. He's done so well. He's got feathers all on it now. They're still not long, but they're growing through. Took him a long time to recover, but he's a lovely, see? He's a lovely boy. Yeah, I'm so nice, so glad to have you back in for the night. First night back in in a while. Because hmm? you're all so big and beautiful. Hmm? Yeah, so I'm just trying to set that up permanently in a way, but you've got to be careful because I'm like making it into like a little pond. And I want to have a few of them, but I want to experiment with them so I can put, I'm talking about the, the blue thing at the back there. So I can put, I'm going to put some little reeds in it to help filter it without having to put chemicals in like chlorine, which is what I've been doing to make it into a little pond. I could even, uh, I just put, put thinking aloud. First time I've been here alone for a long time. Mmm. Well, I'm hardly alone, am I? I know. I know. They're so happy to be back in too. Because they stand outside the fence going, let us in, let us in. Because they're safer, they can sleep here. They normally sleep at the pets outside my cabin. They used to. But we're, re we're in the middle of a revamping stage. Yeah, we'll finish the horse fence and then we're going to start in here and do a revamp. Yeah. Yeah, a revamp. I oh, know. Yeah, my, that's, that's, uh, okay, so here's my finger. That's, that's Frasier. That's Niles. That's Edwin. That's Constance. And that's Blair. So that's Edwin and Blair there, the mum and dad. She's telling him off. He won't hurt you, but I understand. But he's a good boy. But he's the one who's the best with you. He's the one who will protect you the most at the moment. Mm. I know. You've known him the whole time you've been here. And he, he won't hurt you. He's a very good boy. It's funny how from some angles I can't tell Edwin and um, Frasier apart and then I can. It's really weird because they look so alike, you know, that's there. Edwin's on the left and Frasier's on the right and Niles is in between facing the opposite way. Niles is easy to tell because he's got a cross beak. Eddie. Eddie, steady Eddie, my boy. Hey? And the boys are very protective of the girls. Yeah. Oh, God. So lucky. Hey? So lucky. I have to keep an eye on you. It's our first night with Teddy in here with you. You'll be telling him off, I'm sure. You'll be saying, you guys, that's enough. You stay away from us, you big dog. Hey? And Bundy's scared of him. Bundy has bitten um, a goose beak twice. So he's under strict supervision. And he's killed birds. So I just have to keep him with me. It's my son's dog. I, he was trained really well and then he's gotten naughty. And then I've got this boy leaning on me. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Well, I'll love you. <laughs> As I do again, do again. So I'll love you and leave you all. If you're still watching at this point, leave a comment. 
uh, I might even chop the video up a bit. Okay, bye guys. Bye.